Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about a callback function with practical example. But before going to callback function, we need to understand the asynchronous process. So what is asynchronous? So just to put that in a simple word, if something takes a time, to give the output that process is called asynchronous for example let's assume that you are making an api call to fetch a data from another server that definitely going to take a lot of time and that comes under asynchronous process for example let's say you are adding a two numbers one or three or whatever the two numbers and you are getting output in a fraction of a second because that will be taken care in the node module and that is a synchronous process. So that's a basic difference between async and sync. So this callback comes into a picture when there is an async involved in your code or function. So let's create a function to add two numbers. So let me create a function name called add num and that function accept two parameter a comma b and i'm going to return the sum of a plus b so if i call let me print that out in the log so if i call the function with two arguments and if i execute that one you can see that it print the value nine because it's asynchronous and it print the value within a fraction of a second so how does this work in async process? So to mimic the async, I'm going to use a function set timeout. This is an inbuilt node module which gives us an async request. So basically, this set timeout accept two arguments. First one is a function, and the second one is a number of seconds, number of milliseconds to wait until it executes the function in the first argument. So the first argument, it acts as a function. So I'm going to return a plus b. And the second argument acts as the millisecond. So I want this function to return the sum after two seconds. So it acts as a millisecond. Basically, one millisecond is equal to 1,000 seconds. So that's why I have given 2,000 here. So if I call the same function, you will get an undefined and the script will wait for two seconds because it's returned the value before the script wait for two seconds. Because this node module assume this as a sync and return it. So you have to make this process as an async. So how do you make this as an async? And that's where the callback comes into picture. So with callback, we can make this async work properly. What is the callback? So callback is a function that is passed as an argument to the caller function. So basically this is a caller function and this is a calling function. So callback is a function that passed as an argument to the callback function and this callback function return data to the calling function. So we are making a connection between calling and callback function via callback and that's where the callback is very helpful in resolving this async process. So let's see how to make this calling function as async. So in the calling function, we are passing two argument a comma b for four and five and here we need to implement the callback function syntax and this callback should return the sum of a plus b what we are going to do is we are going to get that data here so we don't need to use a callback as well so you can put a here uh, maybe c to make it more meaningful not confusing with these a and b and we are going to print the sum here and in the callback we no need to use a return statement and we should not use a return statement actually we have to replace the return statement with 
the function name and the number of arguments that you're going to pass to this callback. In this callback, I'm going to pass only one argument that's the sum of a plus b. And this callback get triggered only after two seconds. And when it trigger, it pass the sum of a plus b to this calling function and this calling function will print the value after this set timeout complete the two seconds. So if we execute the code and see, you can see it wait for two seconds and then this callback pass the sum of a plus b to the calling function and that print it here. So this is how the callback work and just because it's a callback, you don't need to define this as a callback. You can define anything as you want. Let's say add nums. So it will still work. So it is not necessary that you should use a callback as a name. So it's just a function that you're passing as an argument to the caller function. I know this is quite confusing and looks a little complex. Once you follow all the upcoming videos, you will get familiar with that. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.